So we're going to start in a cross-legged seat. This is called Sukhasana, translated to mean easy pose. Now, if this is not easy for you, sometimes it isn't, we've got tight hamstrings, then you can sit yourself on a cushion or you might have a rolled up towel or a blanket nearby. That might actually be nice and supportive for your knees as well if you've got kind of sensitive knees, just to have that nearby. So come and join me. And you can sit yourself on it and kind of lift the, the spine a little bit higher. And then roll the shoulders a little bit, just get yourself settled if you need to kind of shake anything out, if you've had a quite a stationary day or maybe you've had a busy day and just want to shake out the day. And then let yourself find some stillness and close down your eyes. And before we step into a physical practice, we're going to start with slowing down the breath and just arriving into our body, which is really the, the building blocks to any yoga practice. So notice as you settle here, if there's any tension in the face, maybe you've got a furrowed brow, maybe the jaw feels like it's clenching, can you release any effort there? Drop your tongue into the base of your mouth. Maybe your shoulders are quite hunched up to your ears, can you drop them down the back body? And just let yourself arrive, just soften. Sometimes the hardest part is being still in our modern lives, being still is quite annoying but on, on, at times it's really what we need. We're going to start by placing our left hand onto our chest and our right hand onto our belly. Just feel the presence of your hand, the kind of warmth of your body and then can you acknowledge just how you're breathing in this moment and there's no right or wrong, just how the body is breathing. Maybe you're breathing in and out through your nose, maybe the mouth, Perhaps your breath is quite high up in the chest and the shoulders. Maybe it's a bit deeper. There's no need to change it just yet. Just acknowledge how you are. Observe. And then we're going to start to elongate the breath. So can you start to breathe in through your nose and let your breath feel like it's traveling all the way down to your belly and your belly is going to balloon into your right hand. And as you exhale, breathe out through your nose. Can you draw your belly back towards your spine? And it's not forced, it's just kind of smooth and slow and long. Inhale, breath moves into the right hand. Balloon that into your, into your belly. Exhale, draw the belly button back in towards the spine. There might be a slight kind of tension there, drawing the abs in. And again, inhale, right hand is being ballooned by the belly, by the breath. Exhale, draw it all the way up. And we're just allowing the breath to slow down. When we breathe into the belly, into the diaphragm, our breathing muscle, we allow ourselves to shift into a rest and digest state rather than that kind of panic, stress state. Lovely. And then we're going to take a full breath in through the nose, let the breath move into the belly. This time a big sigh out through the mouth, release any tension. <sighs> it can be silly. And again, inhale through the nose. Big sigh out through the mouth. Don't worry about sounding really loud. <sighs> Just let it go. Lovely. And then reopen your eyes. Come back into your space. Hello. We're going to bring our hands onto our knees. And just start to use this breath to create more movement within us. So the breath is already kind of warming up the body. And then we're going to create some physical movement. So hands are on the knees and we're going to start stirring round in big circles. Now this starts to warm up through the hips through the belly, through the spine, through the chest and the shoulders, using the slow, elongated breath to just re-energize. So turning all the way around, creating these circles in one direction, and then just start to switch it, go in the opposite direction. It doesn't have to look a certain way, We're just kind of feeling into our body. Maybe there's a lot of effort, maybe there's some kind of areas of stickiness wriggling out through those and then come back through center recoil hands are going to stay on the knees we're going to take a seated cat cow so as you inhale the belly lifts a little bit your rib cage draws in and your chest is going to lift up towards the ceiling or maybe you're outside in that case the sky as your shoulders roll down the back slight lift through the chin without throwing the head back and as you exhale chin comes towards your chest we're going to take it the other way now feel like you're kind of being kindly punched in the belly Ooh, rounding through the shoulders, stretching through the back body. Take that again. Inhale, lift belly, lift the chest. Maybe you smile here. 
And as you exhale, rounding through chin to chest, doming in between the shoulder blades. So really finding that stretch there, lovely. And then come back through center. Feel like you can find a neutral space between the two. And on your inhale, we're gonna reach the arms all the way up and overhead. As you exhale, your right hand's gonna come down to the ground beside you, maybe your fingertips, maybe your palm. Soften into the right elbow, so bend it a little bit. And then as you inhale, lengthen up through the left arm. As you exhale, nice side bend over towards the right. Now, rather than collapsing down here, can you keep this lift through the chest? Keep pressing the ground through the right hand. We're finding the stretch through the side body. Notice if your legs are bunching up, can you let them ease to the earth? Breathe in. Breathe out. And then as you inhale, we're going to come all the way back up. So feel like you're being pulled up by your left hand. Right hand's going to follow and then take it to the other side. So left hand comes down. Right arm reaches up. And as you exhale, bend into the left elbow. Chest lifts, feeling that lovely length down the right side body. Full breath in here. Full breath out. As you inhale, reach back up. Both hands come all the way up above your head. This time you're going to take a twist. So your left hand comes onto your right knee and your right fingertips land behind you. Breathe in. Can you sit a little taller in your spine? So almost feel like you're being lifted up by the crown of the head. And then as you exhale, maybe you twist a little more and that's through the belly and the chest rather than the head. Or maybe you just kind of drop the shoulders. Find a little bit of ease here. Breathe in. Breathe out, release the twist, come back through center. Again, arms reach up, inhale. Exhale, take it to the other side. Right hand to your left knee, left fingertips land behind you. Sit a little bit taller rather than kind of back here. Elongate the spine, lengthen through the back of the head. As you exhale, maybe you twist. Again, that's moving from the belly and the chest rather than just yanking your head back. Or maybe you drop the shoulders, soften the jaw, breathe in. Exhale, come back through centre. Lovely. Now we're going to come onto our hands and knees. So rolling over the legs. This is where you might like to put a blanket or a towel underneath your knees. So coming onto all fours. Hands are going to come underneath our shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Spread your fingertips really nice and wide so you've got like this nice grounding foundation. And the tops of the feet, toes are untucked, tops of the feet are pressing into the ground. And we're going to come back to the breath here. So nice, slow inhales and exhales through the nose. Almost feel like your breath is kind of a, an instrument playing your body and it's this really smooth metronome. And then as you inhale, we're going to tilt the tailbone towards the ceiling. So bum towards the ceiling, belly drops down to the ground and your chest starts to shine forward. We're coming into our cat cow here. Shoulders away from the ears, gaze forward, maybe smile. And as you exhale, press into the hands, chin to chest, dome in between the shoulder blades and tuck your tailbone underneath you. We're going to do that again. Inhale to tilt the tailbone up, belly drops. And rather than just moving through each one, we're really feeling in, in the space in between the two. As you exhale, rounding through chin to chest, dome the shoulders, tuck the tailbone one more time. Feel the breath move the body rather than the breath as the afterthought. So inhale, lets the body move and open. And as you exhale, rounding through, big stretch. Gorgeous. And then come back through center, take the knees a little bit wider than the hips, your big toes come to touch, and you'll sit our bum back into a child's pose, arms reach out in front of us. And child's pose is a really lovely grounding posture to kind of reset, breathe into it, soften and just de-stress. Your forehead can be on the ground, if the ground is available to you. I'm just leaving my head up so you can hear me a little better. And then again, notice any tension in the face and the jaw. Notice if the breath has kind of shortened, can you elongate it again? Take a full inhale and a full exhale. And then as you inhale, we're going to come back to all fours. Hands come underneath the shoulders, spread nice and wide through the fingers. Knees come back underneath the hips. Now tuck your toes. We're going to lift the hips into a downward facing dog. So first of all, bum to heels, press hands into the ground, and then you're going to bring the weight into the feet just start to rise the bum up and back. So rather than here in any kind of planking position, the weight's really coming into the legs. And then you might start to pedal through the feet, so bending one knee and the other. This doesn't really have to look a certain way, we're just feeling into it, processing the postures within our body, letting the breath be the priority. So bending through one knee and the other might give the head a little bit of a wiggle, the hips a little bit of a wiggle. And then find some stillness, take a full breath in. 
and a full breath out. Lovely. And then bring the knees back down to the ground. Untuck the toes. Bump to heels. And we're going to swivel our legs all the way around. And let our legs come out long in front of us. Now, so often we think that yoga is all about being flexible and touching our toes, which is absolutely not. It's about the journey that we go on to kind of lengthen the body and find those new spaces. So this time we're going to bend the knees, keep the knees quite nice and bent, and then just take the flesh of your bum and kind of scoop it up and back so you can access your sit bones, the bony part of your bum, a little bit more. As you inhale, we're going to sweep the arms up and overhead. Feel this length through the side body that we created before, and then as you exhale, feel like your belly is lifting up and over Rather than trying to reach for your toes, think forward. So rather than down, think forward. And then your left hand's going to come onto your right leg. Maybe you can touch the foot, maybe just take hold of anywhere that's available. And your right arm, as if we're doing a front crawl, is going to sweep back first as you inhale. Send it all the way up towards the ceiling. And then as you exhale, bring it over towards the left leg. So we're crossing the arms. And we're going to keep the right hand there and take the left arm back. Inhale to sweep it all the way behind you. Really feel the stretch through the, through the pec, through the front of the chest. And as you exhale, it comes all the way down. Lovely. And then unravel the hands. Take a full breath in. As you exhale, just let everything soften. Again, you don't need to be touching the toes. You can let the hands come down by the sides of the legs. Maybe there's a little bit more space to lengthen the legs out, maybe not. It doesn't have to be a certain way. Let the breath be a priority. Take a full inhale. And a full exhale. Really nice. And then as you inhale, re-rise. You're going to cross your legs. <clears throat> Come back to where we started in this easy pose. And then just re-ground for a moment. Close your eyes. Place your left hand onto your chest and your right hand to your belly. And even after a little bit of movement, short movement, can we just observe how we feel? How does the breath feel? Has it shifted at all? How does the mind feel? And there's never any right or wrong, we're just observing. Slowing down, taking this time to just reset. I'm going to take a full breath in through the nose and a big sigh through the mouth and one more time inhale through the nose and a big sigh through the mouth well done you can open your eyes come back to your space bring your hands together in front of the heart and just thank yourself for showing up for this and moving with love and kindness have a lovely day. See you soon. Bye.